On the Health Watch tonight, two warnings from the Food and Drug Administration. First, the FDA says over-the-counter products containing a topical anesthetic pose a serious risk to infants and children and shouldn't be used in kids under two to treat pain associated with teething. Dr. Malika Marshall's here. These are so popular. What products are we talking about? So primarily gels, but they also come in cream form yeah. and sprays and some of the popular brands you'll hear are Oragel and Ambisol. And these contain a topical anesthetic called benzocaine and they're designed to treat gum pain but they're not particularly helpful for pain associated with teething and once you rub them on a kid's gums they swallow it quickly and then it puts them at risk for something called methemoglobinemia which can, is a dangerous condition that actually can prevent oxygen from getting to cells so it can be deadly so the FDA is saying look they're not useful and they're harm potentially harmful so please don't use these products so instead parents and caregivers should use those rubber teething rings and a good old-fashioned clean finger to sort of massage the gums. Maybe a frozen washcloth or something, too? Yeah, they, they, were, they warn us a little bit about the freezing because sometimes it's too cold and too hard. Okay. The FDA also warning tonight about pills that claim to protect us from the sun. In fact, the FDA has actually sent letters to the four dietary supplement makers calling the pills flat-out fake and telling the companies to stop selling them. Okay, it would have been convenient, but sun <laughs> protection in a pill is a little too good to be true. I know, and maybe one day we will yeah. have such a thing, but right now we really don't. And skin cancer is the number one cancer in the United States, and there is a strong link between UV exposure, either from sun or from tanning beds, for example, and skin cancer. So these companies are leading, misleading consumers into believing that they're protecting themselves by taking these daily supplements. The FDA says stop it. Don't do it anymore. It could be harmful to patients. And instead, continue to use your sunscreen, preferably with an SPF of 30 or greater, and reapply it often. Boy, and especially right now here, we need to do that. That's right. Excellent. Doctor, thank you. Anyway. David, over to you.